I am so blessed to live by some beautiful beaches here in Washington State, so I thought I'd get some of my shells out from my collection and use that as an inspiration for a new design. I got a few rocks and washed them to get their true color and got them dried and picked out the ones I thought would match the shell the best. Then I found some round objects and used them as a tracing guide for my stone. So I want to get a perfect circle on top of this stone. So I just trace around it with a white pencil so it will show up. And I did that on both stones. And now I'm using a flat brush, not a pointy brush, to paint that black circle on there. This is some Martha Stewart black satin. And I'm going to start filling in that circle. I start in the middle, just kind of loading up the middle with paint. And then I'm going to press down and use that flat edge of the brush to get a nice clean edge around the rock. And once I get a nice clean edge, I'm going to lift up that extra paint from the middle so I don't leave any ridges behind. I want it to be nice and flat and smooth to dry. Now I'm getting my other colors together that match the color of the shell. And I'll be listing those colors in the comments. But first we're going to start with white. Just a plain old white. I'm using a white satin, but it was a little bit too thick. So I added a few drops of water and stirred it up well until I got the consistency of about cake batter. Getting my readers out because this is some very tiny work to begin with. On the edge of the black circle you're going to use your smallest tool and mine is a manicure stylus and you're going to walk those dots just along the edge of that black till they just become micro dots. Just as far as you can go and your paint runs out. Then you're going to start going the other direction. So I'm going to grab a little bit bigger tool and I'm going to start making dots in the other direction until I go all the way around. And about every three or four dots I am going to add a bigger tool so they get bigger and bigger as we go all the way around the circle. And I'm keeping the line of the black edge right in the center of each circle. going around and then when I get back to that edge I'm gonna start moving within the circle and at this point my tools are starting to get smaller again we're gonna just spiral that around just like the inside of a seashell until I get back down to my smallest tool isn't that cool I love that look. I just love these spirals. So I did it on three or four rocks since I had a lot of white paint to use. And then I got my colors that match the shell. And this is the really fun part. You just start filling in the space. Start with uh, largest dots in your primary color. And mostly this shell is sort of a bronze color. So I, I made the biggest dots in bronze. And then I moved on to some gold and then a couple different shades of pink. And I used four different tools just making all sorts of different sizes of dots. You want a lot of variety and you want to just keep filling in and filling in until all those spaces are full. Now once I got that done I thought I would go back on that white and add a little pearl. I used the uh, Martha Stewart pearl paint which is a plump fat paint and it left a nice little button on top of that and gave it some depth. And for me I thought it really reminded me of one of my favorite shells. So I thought I'd go and, and try a couple different other colors. Tried it in this turquoise with the white and then I thought I'll go back and do a little different variation on that. And you can think of all sorts of different ways to use this design in the colors that you like. Time for me to head back to the beach. Because it's my happy place. <laughs>